Come here. David Rodriguez has brought in his fennec fox, Lily Pond, for a wellness exam. Every time I take her out, people are like, what is that? What is that? They Sometimes they think it's like a chihuahua, uh, and sometimes I mess with them, and I'm like, yeah, it's a chihuahua. I kind of have some qualms about fennec foxes being pets. They're actually natives to the Sahara Desert, so they're a desert species. It's not normal for them to live in Florida. <laughs> Hey, good morning. How are ya? What's going on? Oh, you're beautiful, honey. How old is she? She's a year and five months. Very nice. Oh, I know it's so scary. It's okay. It's so bright. Okay. She scratches her butt a lot, like on the on the tile. Okay, like scooting her rear end. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. And then um, occasionally she'll just like a dog, she'll scratch herself. I don't know if that's fleas or. It can be normal. Okay, now does she live mainly indoors? Indoors. Yep. <laughs> Fennec foxes are found in the Sahara Desert and other regions of North Africa. They're believed to be declining in the wild due to the pet trade and hunting them for their fur. All right. Let's look through here. Doesn't appear to be any evidence of fleas, so that's good. In regard to scooching her butt, I suspect it's probably anal glands, and we can take her in the back and express those, and get her freshened up, and then she ought to feel a little bit better. The owner has been reporting that Lily has been scooting her bottom on the ground a lot. And that's just a neon sign for a veterinarian that this animal needs its anal glands expressed. And that's one of the top 10 reasons I left dog and cat practice is so that I would never have to express anal glands again. I don't even do my own dogs. I have to do something that's gonna be very unpleasant for both of us. Honey, I just want you to know, the reason I went into exotic animal medicine is so that I would never have to express anal glands again for the rest of my entire life. Yes, I did. I know, honey. All right, let's get the gloves.